Oh, landmines and jellyfish. Welcome back to Knives, I guess. And I saw Bob Ross buying a vape at a gas station in Blue Ridge. So, I carried this, the uh, other Walmart Ozark Trail knife on me for about four days to give you a full review on this thing. And first off, let's get our eyeballs on it. So you got a pocket clip. That is tip up, which is the Lord's carry. It's not reversible. You got a lanyard hole right here. You got the axis lock and the thumb studs. Let's uh, flick the stud. That sounded bad, too. Eh. So you got a nice uh, almost trailing point blade right here, and um, you got polypropylene scales. This one and the other Ozark Trail uh, axis lock are the only place I've seen propylene, polypropylene scales that have been identified as such. Uh, and, of course, the axis lock does axis lock things. And... When I got this out of the box, it had an incredibly, incredibly stiff action, and I had to loosen this up just the tiniest amount to get it working right. But other than that, out of the box, it's worked really smoothly. Um, it carried nicely enough. I had it jammed in the waistband for almost all those four days, and it carried really well. Um, there was a little tiny bit of discomfort from like these bits right here being a little bit pokey and uh, this right here and this right here rubbing, but it wasn't anything really all that bad. Not worse than most things. Um, I did push it through the uh, the plastic on pallets. That was a bad flick. Um, it is so hard to do this flat across a table competently. I haven't done it enough. But, you know, it did the plastic to cut test on pallets, that single layer. It did a pretty good job on. A little bit of resistance, but nothing too crazy. The edge was really good out of the box. Um, it lasered through a couple of pieces of cardboard that I cut with it. Like, it did good across the board. Uh, let's take a look at where the edge is right now. It shouldn't be too far off of the factory edge. It shouldn't. It is a little bit far off the factory edge. Yeah, it looks like it took some edge wear. Um, it looks like it took a bit of edge wear because if you saw the videos and these came out of the box, they came out of the box really nice. Like really nice, sharp, clean cuts, easy drag through paper. So it's definitely shown some edge wear. And I didn't think I'd used it enough to really put any edge wear on it. But that being said, what I am 99% sure is the, uh, the exact same blade steel on the other Ozark Trail Axis like uh, Axis Lock Knight that I have. We did Cardboard Slayer on that one, and it took about an hour of cuts for it to dull out enough to need to be stropped back to life. And this thing strops up stupid fast, so why don't we try to get a strop in on camera and then do that cut again and see how we look. I wasn't planning on doing this. I honestly wasn't. I thought it was going to be a little bit sharper, but I have pushed it through some cardboard. I've kind of, you know, I've done a little bit of everything with it, and we know now that this steel is quite soft. Um, it performs worse than 3CR13, and uh, I mean, even with it being dull enough to tear like that, it was still a fine enough edge that it wasn't really tearing and shredding the uh, the plastic as I worked with it, so uh, that's definitely a bit of an oddity. Uh, normally, they are a bit more worn out than that, and you know, they struggle on that plastic, but we're going to see how this do, and uh, like, I'll show you how quickly these things strop up. Like, this has gone no time on this strop. We'll go to the other side that is contaminated, but still a little bit finer than the other side. And by the way, I do have something coming in from Timu that we're going to play with, and uh, I'm kind of actually excited to see it come in. It's not another knife. I'm kind of done with Timu knives, but it is knife adjacent. And when you do buffing compound on these instead of diamond paste, it really builds up on that edge, and you got to clean it off. I've learned that. Um... I didn't know what diamond paste to buy, and I didn't want to um, grab the wrong thing, so I went with what I saw on Amazon with most of the other ones, and that is a buffing compound in rouge, and I went with that, and it works, but it could work better. You see how quickly that strop back up to right about factory edge? That's a real indicator of how soft this steel really is, and the edge got a lot shinier off of that too. So this is kind of an interesting case. Like this is still something that I would definitely travel with. I would, uh, I'd carry it with me for a week and be fine. If I lost it, I'd be all right. I do kind of wish Walmart still sold these, but I've also kind of gotten my fix of these access locks, uh, these particular access locks for the year. It's, it's okay. 
you know, for a $5 knife, still exceptional value. For a beater you throw in your toolbox, still an exceptional value. Um, for daily carry, for stuff that you want to keep an edge on, not so much. Um, if you're doing it in a hard-use environment, you know, you're, you're, rolling, you're, you're making a compromise here. You're trading uh, edge retention for the blade soaking up abuse, as far as I can tell. I'm pretty sure this blade can take a lot of hard hits and not break. Um, I'm not going to test that because that's not what I'm set up for. But, um, yeah, I mean, overall for the price, very, very good. You know, it's not, it, it won't take down the Gordon knife from a Harbor Freight. Uh, that was 10 bucks. You know, that costs double what this does, but it's not taking that one down. Uh, but it's still, it's, it's not a world beater, but for a $5 knife, phenomenal. Um, at some point here, we're going to test out this Ozark trail knife from a different production run and a different, uh, series. And we're going to see how this holds up to cardboard slayer and check the edge retention on it. That'll probably be in a couple live streams from now, but today at noon Eastern, we're going to start a live stream and we're going to go in on this guy right here and see if we can wear the coating off of the blade. We're thinking powder coat on this, which could be, um, it's not as glossy as I'm used to seeing powder coat, but I'm not sure what it is. We're going to have fun though. So, uh. All that being said, just wanted to give you a real quick review on this thing now that I've carried it. Um, thanks for looking at my crap. Subscribers, you guys are still coming in. It's awesome. I'm humbled by it, and I'm so grateful. We are marching ever closer to 1,000 in that first giveaway. And all that being said, y'all have a nice day.